Okay, everybody, before we do anything, I want to introduce you to my friends, Borum and Peas. This is the Borum and Peas record book. This is the Borum and Peas journal. I also have the Borum and Peas laboratory notebook. And I use this as my backup system to my backup system to my computer system. One thing that I did in my first go round with the business was I didn't keep good records. And it's really, really important to keep good records. So you have to figure out what is the best way that will encourage you to write things down and to have them at your fingertips when you need them. And when you need them is not just when you're going to make a product, but it's when you're going to cost out a product. It's a year end when you have to give it to your accountant. And it's any time where you want to order product. What I didn't do the first time and that I definitely do like a crazy person this time is I compare prices of my suppliers all around the internet. I compare prices, I compare their sources. If I write to a supplier and I say, where do you get your steric acid from? And can you tell me that that company uses RSPO palm oil? And I either don't get an answer or I get the wrong answer. I won't go to that supplier again. But the most important thing to do before you start doing that kind of work is to look at your materials and how much they cost. You can get a lot of different things on eBay at a fraction of the cost, but there are certain things that you don't want to buy on eBay because you don't know where they're coming from. And I found that out the hard way when I oiled essential oils from China. And not only was half of the stuff broken when it got there, but after I started to look into the products that I got, I decided not to use any of them. They just didn't hold up to the ones that I did buy from very reputable suppliers elsewhere. So I will never use those people again. And when I told them that half of the product was broken when I got it, it was like too bad, so sad. So you also have to look at the customer service that you get. I ordered from some place that I didn't even know was sourcing from China. And when the place in China lost my order, again, it was too bad, so sad for me. So the lowest price is not always going to be the best bargain. You have to know that. So I keep in my little Borman Peace journal, I do my searches around the internet. Like yesterday I was looking for cocoa butter. I looked at my top five suppliers, wrote down exactly the quality, the quantity, and the price. And I looked at reviews, you know, some reviews are not as honest as others. Some places, you know, have friends and relatives review it. You can't get away from that stuff. But you can pretty much see like who has, you know, good prices. I go into my Facebook groups of other formulators and other cosmetic and skincare makers and I see who do they recommend. And then I broke it down to the top five. I looked at their end price and their shipping price because that's important. And sometimes you have to put something in your basket, go to checkout to find out what the shipping price is, but it's worth it. It's like, please do that because that is going to affect your bottom line. So I go around and I look, where do I get this? Where do I get that? Where do I get that? Sometimes it's much easier to go to one supplier and get these different these different products but you are shortchanging yourself if you do that because a lot of places have much stronger strengths in certain areas than others so do your research and do it well know exactly what you're getting who you're getting it from what their customer service is like I bought a lot of stuff from Essential Depot for a long, long time. And I can tell you that the last time I was on their site, I had $400, more than $400 in my basket. It wouldn't let me sign in. It wouldn't let me check out. It wouldn't let me do anything. I wrote to them. I've been a good customer of theirs for years. 
I bought my big cutter from them. I bought all my cocoa butter from them. I bought all my lye from them. They never answered me. A couple of days later, I went, wrote them again, never answered me. Wrote to the head of the company, never answered me. I just don't go there anymore. It doesn't matter. And I love their cocoa butter because it comes in these, these nice little uh, chunks that I can basically break by slapping it on the counter and then taking the cocoa butter. But I will not deal with a company that will not answer me a customer service. On the other hand, like Brambleberry does not have their customer service people all the time. I actually like that because they're not a company that's having their workers work around the clock. But one time I lost my basket, like it just disappeared and I had a lot of stuff in it. They actually were able to get me the basket back. So sometimes I'll look at their products and I'll think that they're pricier than other places, but I know that if I have a problem, they're going to resolve it. And I've had problems with things being broken when they get to me and they replace it right away. And they have little uh, codes on their products. So they'll say, you know, what is the code or what's the name of the person that, that you know, packed it. And I think they're an ethical company. I don't think they're going to go out and fire somebody, you know, because my product was broken, but they're going to be able to do better quality assurance and quality control. So I will work with a company like that, but I've been ripped off by people who source from China. I've been ripped off by people who ship from China and don't have that very clearly marked on their website. And and I've been ignored by other companies. So all these things have to be into consideration when you're shopping for products and you are comparison shopping. So it's more than just price. You have to have customer service. When I first started doing computer consulting many, many years ago, my boss said to me, a company is only as good as their technical support. If you can't get technical support, and this was before anybody had a home computer or anything like that, my boss told me if you cannot get in touch with customer support, technical support, do not buy that product and do not recommend it to any of our clients. And I did it. And I want to say the same thing in the soap business, the skincare business. If you cannot get customer service to respond to you or you can't get them to respond positively to you, don't use them. So that's what you need your little friends Borman Peas for because when I'm on the computer, you know, I'm writing all this stuff down and, and the next time I go to order something, I'll be like, oh, a bale jar, a five ounce bale jar is this price here plus shipping is this price. This one has free shipping, the price is a little more. So you pretty much know the shipping's included in the price and, you know, if you sell end products, you know that trick. Oh, but this one has really low prices. Oh, but I've dealt with them before and their customer service is horrible. So just cross them off because if you have a problem, you're stuck. And if you're stuck, that's money wasted. So do your research, have your books, have your books right by your side and make sure you use each book. I have a couple of journal books. I have a couple of record books. The inside is different. The journal, for some reason, I, I think this is backwards, but this, this is how they do it. My journal book has columns for prices and my record book doesn't. So I put comparison shopping in there and in my laboratory notebook, I put in my formulations. So I've lost enough computers to know that you better have a handwritten system or every time you write something on your computer, you better have a printout of it. So for me, I am not paid for this company. I'm not affiliated with this company. I'm not connected to this company in any way. But for me, and find this out for you, I use Cambridge Notebooks, I use Warm and Peas, and I use some of the same vendors for my stationary products, my pens, my, my pencils, everything, because it really helps me to write things down. And I like to have a nice pen, a nice book, and it will encourage me to write down the things that are a chore to begin with. So try to make those chores a little easier. And uh, if I were you, I would go out and buy a very good redundant system, meaning something to back up what you're putting on your computer.
Thank you.